Scrapping with Z. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rose. These are from Penny Duncan's Falls. You can find them at pennyduncancreations.com. And um, I love making them. You can make them different sizes, different colors. Some of them I spray with um, shimmering mist. Um, this one I just put a little bit on it. And you can finish it up. Well, I'll show you the finished project in a minute. But to make it, this will be what it looks like when you get it cut out. And this one I've already sprayed with shimmering mist. Then, this is just a little thing that I got at um, Michael's or Archive or somewhere like that. Put it in here. There's a little thing there. Slit. And you start turning like that. If you don't have one of these, you can also use tweezers. I like using my tweezers also. And just keep twisting it all the way around. And that's how you make the rows. I've got one here I've already twisted. And when you let go of it, it's going to come out like this. So what I usually do is I'll tighten it up a little bit. Like this. Loosen it up a little bit more. And your bottom is going to be like this. I'll put hot glue. And this is just regular old hot glue. Put a little bit down there. Be careful because it is hot as we all know. And put it in there. Sometimes I'll squirt it up in the middle of it to hold that center piece down a little bit more. And I'm going to have to do that here with this one. Because it's a little bit bigger. And I'm making this big one so you can see more. And I'll show you some little bitty ones I have made. To show you just how little you can do this file. And that's one of the great things with SVG files. You can uh, make them the size that you want. Okay, so there I've got it all glued. And you can see I've got some rough edges. Well, that's fine because your roses out in nature is not going to be exactly perfect. So then all you have to do, bend your edges down. I usually start at the bottom, bend my edges. And this is uh, basil, light yellow paper that I'm using. And like I said, I just sprayed it with some shimmery mist. It's just some shimmery mist that I made um, using uh, Americana, I believe, uh, Americana paint. Uh, I usually get the glimmer and make my own glimmer mist and just spray it. And I usually spray it after I've already cut them out. That way, too, if you want to add a little different colors to it, you can. And see how that just starts looking like a rose? And that's all you do is you just keep going until you get done. Just bend it. Be sure don't forget to get in your middle. And you can bend it different ways. I love Penny Duncan Creations. She has a lot of files um, that you can purchase and tutorials to show you how to do them. But there you are. There's your rows. And like I said, here's some that I've made. There's one a little bit different size. This one has a little bit of different shimmering mist. Here's some little bitty ones that I've made. And this one I had the leaves that goes with them. And as you can see, these are a little bit shinier, if you can see it. I uh, used a sparkling uh, a pen that had uh, glitter and just colored over them after I got done. Glued it on. Then here's some I made a bouquet out of. 
for a page. I think you can go down a few uh, posts and find this layout. And I hope you like our tutorial on how to make a flower. Bye. See you.